hello students today we will learn that what is critical thickness of insulation i am going to speak about that what is the physical significance about it you would have studied the concept of critical thickness of insulation and what is it with an example i am explaining that in case there is a cylinder suppose this is the cylinder okay and we are applying insulation over it this yellow colored entity is the insulation so the purpose of applying the insulation is what to restrict the heat transfer rate suppose i say that inside temperature of cylinder is ti outside is to and ti is greater than to so what will happen it heat will start moving in radial direction outside the cylinder from center from core to the outer peripheral surface in radial direction so in case we are applying the insulation then heat transfer rate must reduce but it is seen that up to a particular thickness of insulation heat transfer rate increases means our goal is when we are applying the insulation we want to reduce the heat transfer rate but up to a particular thickness of insulation the heat transfer rate first of all increases and then in case we are crossing that limit that threshold then only heat transfer rate reduces so why this thing is happening what is the physical context behind this phenomenon that i am going to tell okay that thickness of insulation up to which the heat transfer rate actually increases and reaches to the maximum that thickness of insulation is what called as critical thickness of insulation suppose is a cylinder okay i am showing you the cylinder by the help of this arrow okay over it this yellow colored entity is the insulation okay and inner temperature is ti outer is to ti is greater than to since inner temperature is higher than outer some temperature due to this thing the heat is moving in radial direction over here i am showing the cut section of this cylinder okay this is the cut section and magnified view the inner surface temperature is ti the outer surface temperature that is the environmental temperature remember this context is for in case the heat is moving from center of cylinder ultimately reaching the peripheral surface and then heat is dissipating to the surrounding air okay in atmosphere then i am talking about so inner temperature ti ambient temperature atmospheric temperature is to heat is moving in radial direction like this okay this yellow colored entity is the insulation applied over the cylinder okay so when heat is transferring okay and in case i am starting my analysis from this inner surface of cylinder okay just concentrate over the arrow okay from this inner surface of cylinder i am starting my analysis so first of all heat will conduct through this insulation because insulation is made up of solid material and then when it reaches the ultimate surface ultimate outer peripheral surface of this insulation then heat will move to the environment by the help of convection that's it so first through the insulation conduction heat conduction is taking place then when this insulation ends then convection takes place and heat ultimately dissipates in the environment okay now what happens we know one thing that heat transfer rate q is proportional to the area of exposure through which heat is transferring okay similarly for this case heat transfer rate will be inversely proportional to the thickness of insulation okay because greater the thickness of insulation is greater the hurdle in the path of heat transfer rate so all in all what is the scientific phenomenon that heat transfer rate is proportional to the area of exposure means this outer peripheral area greater the outer peripheral area of exposure is greater the heat can be delivered to the environment because heat transfer rate is proportional to the area of exposure this outer peripheral surface area because ultimately heat is transferred from this outer peripheral surface area to the environment so greater the area of this outer surface is greater the heat transfer rate will be and greater the thickness of insulation is lesser the heat transfer rate will be but now a question arises see it is like this since it is cylindrical surface and what is the area of peripheral surface we know this thing that area of curved surface of cylinder is given by 2 pi r l over there r is the radius of cylinder so in case we are talking about this outer peripheral area so greater the radius is length of cylinder suppose is constant but in case greater the thickness of insulation is greater the radius will be and greater the surface area will be that's it so in case we keep on increasing the radius of insulation you can see greater thickness even greater even greater like this so what is happening two things are happening one is that the thickness of insulation is increasing other is the surface area of the outer peripheral surface of this insulation is also increasing as well okay so what will happen 
हीट ट्रांसफर रेट विल इंक्रीज ड्यू टू इंक्रीमेंटल इन आउटर सर्फेस एरिया और इट विल डिक्रीज ड्यू टू इंक्रीजिंग ऑफ थिकनेस ऑफ इंसुलेशन द आंसर इज दट अप टू अ पर्टिकुलर लिमिट दिस कंटेक्स दट इज हीट ट्रांसफर रेट प्रोपोर्शन टू एरिया prevails this context that is heat transfer rate reduces due to increasing thickness of insulation so up to that limit heat transfer rate will first of all increase and then in case we are crossing that limit you can see this is the graph between the heat transfer rate and the radius up to which the insulation is applied okay so greater the radius of insulation up to a limit the heat transfer rate is first of all increasing and then in case we are crossing the threshold limit then with further applying insulation the heat transfer rate is reducing so understood very simple to understand that the heat transfer rate from this cylinder to the environment okay heat is ultimately transferring from this outer peripheral surface of the cylinder to the environment so greater the area of outer peripheral surface is greater the heat transfer rate will be to the environment second thing is in case the thickness of insulation is increasing then it reduces the heat transfer rate because thickness of insulation is a sort of resistance in the path of heat transfer rate so with increasing radius of insulation the outer peripheral area is increasing area of exposure is increasing so heat transfer rate is increasing as well as thickness is increasing so heat transfer rate is decreasing but which context will prevail over which context so i told you that up to a particular radius the heat transfer rate increment due to increasing area of exposure of the outer surface will prevail over heat transfer rate decrement due to increasing the thickness of insulation so up to that much time what will happen the heat transfer rate will actually increase even though we are applying the insulation but heat transfer rate will increase in case we are crossing that threshold then with further applying of insulation the heat transfer rate will start decreasing that thickness up to which heat transfer rate will increase by applying insulation over the cylindrical surface that thickness is called as critical thickness of insulation so hope you would have understood this concept the physical concept behind the critical thickness of insulation over cylindrical surface thank you